this is what we're going to make. It's a microwave bowl cover or pot holder. You sit your bowl in there, you put it in the microwave. When it's done, you just grab the ends, take it out, and you don't burn your hands. Also, if you like ice cream, you don't want your hand cold, you can use this to eat your ice cream out of, out of your bowl. First of all, you take and you cut two pieces, ten and a half inches. And then you cut your fleece iron-on batting, and you iron it on, and you cut that ten and a fourth, about ten and a fourth inches so that you have room. So then you would, if you have the iron on, you would take and iron this on with the iron side down towards the back of the fabric. This is the front. You want to iron it on the back. And you do that on both pieces. Like this. You have your iron is steam. You have the sticky side down because that's the part that's ironing on. Don't do it the other way because you have it stuck to your iron. And then what I do is I put like a cloth or something over top, like a cheesecloth or something. I spray it with water and then I just sort of press it down. After you have your fleece on the back of both sides, you want to quilt it. You quilt on the front. You can make, I have just straight cuts and they're like an inch and a half apart. And I put a fancy stitch down one and a straight stitch down the other, fancy and straight. You can make a big X. You don't have to do anything fancy. You can do whatever you want to do. It just sort of holds that batting and all that in place. Then after you have quilted it, you want to put your darts in it. You fold it in half. This is your open end down here. Fold it in half. Mark a half an inch down from the fold and three inches across the top. Make a mark there and a mark there. Then you draw a diagonal. That's a dart. And then you just run it on the sewing machine. And I backstitch up here so it doesn't come out. Then turn it over. You do the same thing on that side. And you do it on all four sides. Then you put right sides together. And it'll be sort of bumpy. Put your right sides together. And one dart will go one way. And the other dart will go the other way so that you don't have a thickness there of two darts meeting together. But before you sew it, you can use bias tape or a one and a half cut by seven inches. Just fold that in the corner. Put it in like that because that hangs it up. Just pin it all the way around and leave about three inches open. That will be like from your dart, a little past your dart, to about there. You don't want to leave it open on the corner because you want to turn that. Then after you have sewn all around it except for your opening, you take and you push it through. Now usually you can get your hand in there. Mine, a lot of times you can't get your hand in there. So I just stick my fingers in there and I take the furthest corner and I start working it and I pull it down. And if you don't have a real big opening, it'll be a little tight, but you just keep working it. It'll pull around. Then you can get a... Um, like a knitting needle, don't use your scissors, you'll po poke a hole through it. Like a darning needle, a knitting needle, uh, something that's sort of blunt. Yeah. And poke out your corners. After you do that, then I steam press it so that I have this all sort of flat. With this opening, I just fold it down. And I usually run some pins across here to hold it so it'll lay straight and I steam it down. I do the same thing on this side, I just fold it back steam it down, put some pins in there to hold it, take it to the machine and run a quarter of an inch top stitch all the way around and that secures everything together. This is all top stitched. And then this is stitched. It doesn't take you long to make it. I have three of them in my kitchen and I use all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so. okay, like if you want to heat up a bowl of chili or a bowl of soup, you just put it in here. Sit it in your little uh, pot holder thing, put it in your microwave, bing, it's done, open it up, and I grab the two corners, and that's how I take mine up, and sometimes it slops over, but that's okay, they're washable. And